So my topic of the presentation is the standardization of the genetic transformation technique in the OLHS bin, that is labella purpureus for the parboro resistance. So actually this uh, study, it is only uh, based on the methodology, uh, transformation methodology. So we have standardized the transformation methodology within how we can cut short the period of the transformation. So the problems, we already know the problems associated with the pulses. So that is the abiotic stress drought, then the temperature and the salinity. And as far as the abiotic stress is concerned, that is the physarium wilt, ascochite of light, and the majority is the pod borer. So we already know in, ca in case of the uh, Maharashtra, so this variety it is running uh, very popularly, and near about the 40% loss it is noticed. And in some part of the Karnataka also, in some part of the Rajasthan, and the Gujarat also. So the objective of the uh, study was to standardize the technique for the genetic transformation into the dolichus bin. And here we have used the uh, genotype that is the uh, Konkan Bhushan, which is released 20 years back. But now this variety is becoming susceptible to the pod borer. So we are taken for this. Uh, and the gene construct that is Cryon ABBCC, which is provided by the NRCBB New Delhi. So the methodology here, it is a main uh, um, uh, study. It is based on the methodology. And we have st uh, uh, standardized the methodology. And we have formulated the four different methods. So that is the first one is that the expands were injected by agrobacterium tumor patients under the aseptic conditions and co-cultivated for the 48 hours. So here we have given the minimum injury. In case of the second method, that is expands were injured mildly and dipped into the agrobacterium for the 20 minutes under the aseptic conditions and co-cultivated for the 48 hours. In, in method uh, third, that is expand deeper for 30 minutes and co-cultivated for the three days. So the period uh, we increased here. And in case of the MT4 method, that is the fourth method, we are given the pre-culture. So that is the expand pre-culture into the medium supplemented with the 0.5 mg per liter TDJ for the two days. And the bacteria suspension culture was injected and uh, co-cultivated for the 48 hours on the same media. So the effect of the survival here, so if you see here, in case of the MT1 method, so near about the 26% survival observed. But in case of the MT4 method, the survival percent was higher, it was near about 34 percent, and it is because of the preculture. So, the, in the MT3 method, if you in, increase the period of this uh, co cultivation as well as the colonization, there is a survival percentage, it will be the minimum. <coughs> so, the Elimination of agarabacteria is also a major task here. So we have, concentrated, we have given the concentration of the cipotaxim. So here we have used the cipotaxim of the medical grade. So the concentration it is almost high, is higher than the uh, other ones. So the cipotaxim concentration, in case of that 1,000 mg per liter, we have observed that. So there is no any reappearance of the agarabacterium. Same time, the canamycin screening also we have found. Uh, we have found that, so if you see here, so there are near about, uh, so there is a 1,000 uh, uh, mg per liter canamycin. So there is a putative transgenics we can able to screen at the higher doses. So there is albino, albino type we have observed that at the higher uh, dose of the uh, canamycin. Also, the finally, the frequency of the putative transgenic. So, the maximum uh, trans, uh, trans, uh, transformation frequency we have observed into the MT4 method, and that is only one method successful. That is, it has recorded the 1.6 percent uh, transformation frequency, and we have gone for the PCR. We have also gone for the RT-PCR, and we have observed that the whole plant is uh, generated, and it has uh, produced the uh, seeds and the pods also. So the future lineup work we are going to, uh, so this season we are going to analyze the progeny and incidence on the secondary pest, movement of the pollen grains, and the studies on the biosafety issues. Thank you.